Hello, Tiffany. Welcome in. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so you're here for the dating show. You said you're looking to add a girl to your relationship. Yes, um, I like men and women. I've been with my husband for four years. Teacher in the back. Let me ask you, Tiffany. It's four years is still so soon. That that's that's not too early to add someone into the mix y'all should still be in the honeymoon phase a little bit no we solid we very solid i'm just saying y'all not enough for each other within four years maybe at the 15 maybe at the 20 but after four <laughs> i'm saying after four I can't off. okay hold on one second i'm sorry my daughter is don't do that okay baby thank you um like I've I've already been interested in women before the relationship, okay. All right. so I have experience with women, and I brought up like a poly relationship to my husband. Okay, and he's okay with it. Yeah, he. I mean, it's not something that he would just start. He there's just something that he was open to when I brought it to him. At first, he didn't really understand what it was, so I had to like explain to him what it really was. But I am. Um, we're both 32. We born the same year. Our birthday the same month. But he a Leo and I'm a Virgo. Right. Where Where are you located and what do you guys do for a living? Um, we have multiple businesses. I do life insurance, business credit, taxes, financial, basically financials I do. And then he has a car dealership and is in real estate. I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia, Metro Atlanta. Let me be a little bit, just a little bit more specific. Um, Metro Atlanta. Um, and how many kids do you guys have? We have four total together. One I brought into the relationship and then we have three together. Okay, and all, all of you guys live together, all four children, with you yeah. and your husband? Yes. Okay, and how old is your youngest child? Um, uh, three months. <laughs> that, well, that baby is brand new to the world. <laughs> brand new. And y'all already ready to be hot? I mean, it's no rush. I mean, like we be when we go out, like I be kind of looking around and stuff like that. But it's kind of hard to find like another high value woman for the relationship. So let me ask you, what's your definition of a high value woman that you you guys are looking for? Um, somebody who have morals and respect about themselves, who's business minded who's on the same stuff that we own because like generational wealth is very important for us. Um, I am mixed, I'm biracial. My husband is Haitian and Dominican. Um, is it Dominican? Dominican, yeah. Um, or it might be Cuban. Uh, I'm getting confused, I'm sorry. But um, he, of course, the Haitians, they be having a lot of kids. And so we, I've always dreamed of having a big family but I've reached my limit. So I'm done with me personally having kids, but I'm open to like, if the woman wants to have kids with my husband and we take care of them as a family, we 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 have, I mean, you can see like, we have a nice house or whatever. I ain't gonna show everything or my kids, but um, if you look at my page, you can see that I'm well-kept. Um, my man, my money is my money and his money is my money. <laughs> so he fully provides. Yeah, he fully provides. Okay, and how much would this woman have to make a year? As long as she bring in like ideas, her um, loyalty, honesty, she don't really have to make a certain number. And describe, I always ask this question, describe your dream woman in this relationship. Don't describe her looks, no looks. Um, Mom, he touch you. I would say strong-minded loyal uh clean i'm a very clean woman i don't like mess like I'm, I'm always cleaning up behind my kids and cooking she don't she don't have to like be a cooker or a cleaner or nothing like that because like there's days that i choose to cook if i don't feel like cooking we just order out or something like that we are majority like pescatarian so if she's on the same level as what we eat i'm very um conscious of what i put in my body so if she's like, the mind is number one for us. Like how our spirit connect, if we think on the same levels, um, 
yeah uh, pretty much the loyalty and being clean a clean woman and not not sleeping around with everybody is is major all right and what does she have to look like she have to be pretty i mean i don't really know how to describe but but just just a pretty young lady she don't got to be like the baddest thing or she don't have to be light skinned like me. She could be dark skinned, brown skinned. I'm really not into like white women like that. So I guess that kind of canceled that one out. But I'm open. And how old does she have to be? I would say like 25 and up because we're we're gonna be 33 this year. So we don't want somebody that's too young and we don't want nobody that's too old. I would say nothing past like 37, 38. Cause like, the older, the less, cause we we still have a lot of life in us. We travel, party, and stuff like that. So, if she have kids, that's fine too. The the kids is okay. Give me three deal breakers. Um, promiscuous, a liar, dirty. <laughs> what does promiscuous mean? Because you guys are in an open relationship. What would that look like for you? We not in an open relationship. It's the difference between having an open, like open relationship is him having sex with other people and me having sex with other people. We don't do that. We have sex with each other. And if we don't have a girlfriend, she don't necessarily have to have sex with us every time. Like if she feel like having sex with me, that's fine. If she feel like having sex with him, that's fine. But it's just us three having sex with each other. Nobody outside of the relationship. Okay. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. So, so when she comes into the relationship, she can't go out and be with someone else. Intimacy is strictly between the three of you guys. Yeah, that's how you like make sure no STDs. Like we, we clean people. We don't, we cautious. I don't like creating soul ties with people. Like I'm. First off, the main thing, like I said, is the mind and with your spirit and your morals and stuff like that is, is number one. If you don't even cross that, like I'm not even looking at you sexually. So. And would she live with you guys? Yeah, I mean, she wants to. If she wants to, that's that's the option. We would prefer that because we like doing stuff together as a, as a family. And I'm assuming all bills will be paid. She would, would she have to pay bills or take care of the stuff or? I don't pay no bills, so I would expect her to be treated how I get treated. Um, and then also, somebody had mentioned that I'm looking for a nanny. I actually have a 16-year-old daughter who gets paid to watch the little kids. So, calm, calm down, okay? I'm not looking for a nanny. I'm looking for another woman in a relationship. Can you give me one reason why you think it's a struggle for you and your husband to find someone? And maybe in Atlanta, which would seem like an easy place to find someone. Why has it been a struggle there? Um, we're trying to move more north. It's probably the location that we in. It's not um, how you say. It's not like it's like a I would say middle class where we live at, but middle class people they they still just like drinking partying you know and stuff like that and then when you when you do meet people out in that kind of environment they're not really conscious of self they more just there to have a good time so i probably need to go to some better better areas to find a woman that's that's similar to me i guess the last question to tiffany if you can can you put your husband on the camera the ladies want to see him he's at work let me see if i oh wait there goes green screen can y'all see so this is our family picture it's up the baby was still in my stomach and my oldest was at, at school oh so i have to do that oh, okay oh oh look at your family that's a great photo thank you Photo. All right, Tiffany, where can this woman who's interested um, reach out to you guys? What's your social media handles? Um, so my social media is Tiffany So Crystal. So Tiffany, like Tiffany and Company, and then S-O Crystal with the K. All right. that's, for, that's for Instagram, and then TikTok is the same. Tiffany Crystal, okay. And is there anything you want to address before you leave? Because I know there's a lot of people commenting and saying things. I just want to give you that room if you want to. 
older daughter is not in the family pick because she was out of town we she's a child outside of my husband and so when she when we did the photo shoot she was on a cruise with her dad my husband is haitian and dominican the 16 year old sh what do you mean what, we, what will we tell her it's none of her business she's a child no. <laughs> Somebody said Haitian, hell no. How do one sign up? You just DM me on Instagram, Tiffany So So Crystal. She's still a child at the end of the day, so it's none of her business. Once it becomes serious, we will introduce her to the idea, but I'm not gonna just introduce my daughter to random girls. Like they for her for the person to come to our home, like we have to have some kind of connection and start it something. So basically, if we decide to go with a female, like we will be doing stuff with them outside the home. And once it become like a long-term thing, then we'll start introducing them to the kids. I'm not showing no females off to my kids early or even my husband didn't even meet my daughter until like almost a year later. I have, to, I have to make sure because she's she's a girl. She's, six, she's a teenager. Keep me updated. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure there'll be someone DMing you for sure. Okay, thank you for having me up. I watch you all the time. You're welcome. Says, have a good one, darling. You okay. too. That was Tiffany. She said her and her husband have been married for four years and they're looking for um, a third partner to add to their relationship, preferably a woman. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Okay, skin and face. <laughs> What you doing up here? I know you ain't got no problems finding no. So, you know, I was just scrolling through TikTok and I've seen you before, so I thought I'd pop in. on. What is your name and where are you located? So my name is Tiana and I am located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. How old are you? What do you do for a living? Yeah, so I am a real estate agent and I'm 23 years old. Do you have any children? No, I don't. Would you date a man with children? If he had one child, fairly young, yeah. Okay, if he had one child. Describe your dream man, don't describe his looks. Don't describe his looks, okay. I would say he would have to be responsible. He would have to be religious. I am a Christian, so he would have to be a Christian man successful in the point where he can take care of his self and sprinkle on me on the side and be a mentor maybe what does he have to look like he would have to be taller than me i'm five nine so Ooh, come on super yeah. model pretty <laughs> in the modella oh Ooh. yeah so mm -hmm. tall tall okay good shape yeah Okay, so taller than five nine, six feet and taller. Okay, alrighty. Um, how much money does he have to make per year? Well, with this economy, I would say one fifty and upwards. Okay, one fifty and up. And when you're in this relationship, are you open to fifty fifty or should he fully provide? Uh, no, no fifty fifty. Yeah, he okay. should be a full the provider. Okay, give me three deal breakers. Addiction to corn, um, drugs as alcohol, and not having a good relationship with his parents, either of his parents. I mean, one reason why you think you're single? Oh, because, uh, you know, God just has me on this path right now, and I'm not dating, so I'm not entertaining anyone. So I just think I rather focus on my priorities so I've kind of steered clear of the whole dating scene uh purposely so it is intentional I'm assuming you're ready now because you're on a dating show so are you opening yourself up now or I'm opening myself up yes yes okay. I actually recently was dating a guy and I uh, after I opened myself up I was single for a year and then I started dating this guy and then you know I kind of realized that and what was one of those things that you're like, oh, it's a no for me? Yeah. You know, he he likes to drink a lot, so. 
Yeah. Where that addiction for your deal breaker comes in, my first one. Okay. All right. Be able to go out and not have four drinks. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, would you relocate for love? I would. Yes. Okay. And that also asking about your accent. Well, I'm from Arizona, so I think, uh, yeah, that's the Kardashian Valley girl accent. I'm, I'm from Arizona, Scottsdale. So. No, they were thinking you were either Trini or Guyanese. That's what they were thinking. Like they thought you were Caribbean. Yeah. No, no, not at all. Mm. Uh, black and white. Token, you do a fit check, or you can show us. She said, Oh, hold on, girl. Or you can show us a picture. I asked the last lady to show us a photo of when you're all glammed up. Oh, okay. Oh, up. I have me on my wall. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Gorge. You're okay. very gorgeous. I've seen you a lot, and you're very oh. gorgeous. Thank you, beauty. Love Thank you. Me. Where can this man find you on social media? My Instagram. I actually don't really have Instagram. I only have one photo up. So I mean, he can DM me, but it's it's um it's Tiana Simpson Real Estate. So okay, and here on TikTok is Princess Zion. 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 Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for coming up, beautiful. I know you don't need this show at all. You need to go take a one way trip to California, honey, and they will snatch you up fast or Miami. Uh huh. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. Honey, she said only one photo. You know you that girl when you only got one photo or two. One of yourself and another one of coffee. They like, is she real? Is is she this she's real? She only got two pictures. Hi. Hello, Amber. Welcome up. Are you ready for the dating show? Sure. All right. We know your name is Amber. How old are you and where are you located? I'm 43 and I live in Southern California. Okay, what do you do for a living? I do customer service over the phone for a big company that um, is out of China. Do you have any children? I have one kid. He's eight years old and he's my beautiful baby. Always and forever. Would you date a man with children? Sure, yeah. Okay, describe your dream man, don't describe his looks. My dream man is somebody who, uh, can make me laugh, loves food, loves to be hanging out with my family, loves my kids, you know, is just a kind of easygoing guy. You know, we all have things going on, but it'd be nice just to have somebody who's straightforward and not really wanting to play games. All right, and what does he have to look like? I like tall dudes. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to look like a gorgeous, like creature. <laughs> he just needs to be, you know, attractive enough good like kind eyes nice teeth um healthy you know healthy body mm -hmm. somebody who like to you know work on his on his physique and how tall is tall for you like 5'11 and up mm -hmm. okay 5'11 and up um how much money does he have to make per year i'd say a hundred thousand and when you're in this relationship, are you open to 50-50 or should he fully provide? Um, I've always done 50-50. I know nowadays it's really, you know, it's really like uh, the thing for women to request that that the guy pay for stuff. And it's I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm open to 50-50. I always have it in all my relationships. Can you give me three deal breakers? Mm, I no longer want anything to do with anybody who smokes cigarettes or drinks. I don't like people who don't have a good family base, like with their families who are, you know, they don't have a good connection with them anymore. Um, and people who don't have goals. Okay. Can you give me one reason why you think you're single? Yeah, um, I was with somebody for a long time. He's, he's my um, son's dad and he died. Um, oh, no. He died last year. So oh, last I'm kind year. of, oh, my. yeah, oh, so my. I just don't know how, you know, I, like, I'm at the age now because I've been in relationships my whole life. Um, I don't know how to date, you know, anymore. Like I was a kid when I was when I was dating like a lot of kid, you know, mm -hmm. dudes and stuff. And then since then, I've had like a ten year relationship, a four year relationship, five year, and now an eight year. And then he passed away. Mm -hmm. um, so it seems different out there now, and it's weird like, trying to like you know throw myself out there. <laughs>
Um, can you show us? I'm adding this question in. Um, I'm asking all the ladies and men to show us a picture. You can either show us a picture or you can do a fit check. You can get up and show us how you look head to toe. So the last I'm not picture, really wearing anything. Yeah, I'm not really wearing anything good right now. Um, okay. Or you so can show us the last picture of when you went out and maybe you got dolled up. I'm asking both men and women to do it, or you can do a fit check head to toe. It's totally up to you. How do I do that? How do I how do I post a picture? Um, there should be green screen at the bottom under filters. Okay. This is when I went to Madonna last month. Like a virgin. Yeah, it was a pretty good, pretty good concert. I've been watching you for a while, which is oh, you're very entertaining and beautiful. Thank you, darling. Oh wait, which one is you? Hold on, which is you? The one in pink. Oh, and when it's pink oh. light. <laughs> giving pink girly light. pop. It's giving girly pop. Yeah. All right. Did you go to the Nikki? It's giving. I'm on the way to the Nikki concert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has a fun side. Hey, Amber, would you relocate for love? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, my family's here. You know, like I don't want to. I don't want to relocate. I want to cool. be where I am. Um, where can this man find? Mermaid stew. Mermaid stew. Okay. And on TikTok, is it Amber Waves? Yeah. All right, perfect. Well, thank you, Amber, for coming up. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're welcome, darling. Really cool.